Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I'd start a new little chatty video with you guys. I have a few things going on today, so I thought I would just start a vlog. I did not vlog this week, so therefore this won't be like a weekly vlog, but I know you guys won't mind, right? <laughs> Anyways, so today's Friday, as, as I said, and it's a very gloomy, rainy day outside. Like, it's very, like, like gross, but... I didn't allow it to kill my mood. I woke up anyways and I got straight into work. I, In fact, I filmed a TikTok makeup video, um, which I think turned out fine. And then I'm just, you know, just doing some little things around the house today. I might go grab dinner and drinks later, so I'll take you guys to that because I do want to go to like my favorite place in Soho. It's, it's called Shushu Nolita, Obsess, and it's right next door to Matcha, Matcha what? Matcha. It's like a matcha place. I'll put it here. Shushu and then the matcha place obsessed also I want to share with you guys some new jewelry pieces that I have right now that I got in from Jerry I love them and because they're going to be having a huge Black Friday sale very very soon I kind of wanted to share with you guys some pieces from my collection that I'm obsessed with because I don't want you guys to miss out on the sale It's going to be a really good sale and I'm gonna show you guys some pieces that I definitely think you should be adding to your cart because you need these pieces they're minimal dainty feminine but also a little bit bold as well and they have a little statement hard to see because the lighting is so bright but let me bring you guys closer <laughs> i want to start off by saying the charlotte bold hoops name will be on the screen this is such a stunning staple piece and i know you guys have seen me wear this like literally every single day it is staple it's such an essential and i think it looks gorgeous 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 on i also have like the larger version there are they are a little bit like thinner and like daintier but i love these for like a nighttime vibe but these ones the bold hoops you guys you need these no questions asked these two I'm absolutely obsessed with. This one here is the Serpentine Necklace, and I am so obsessed with it. I love that it lays flat against the skin. It's literally so shiny and so pretty. And then this is the Boyfriend Necklace. You don't have to hang it like this. It can just be like a regular chain, but I love this little piece hanging down. I feel like it's such a great statement and just adds a little extra flair. I'm not great at stacking jewelry in general, but I feel like this combo right here is dynamite and I can't wait to add another piece I don't know what piece I'm gonna add next like but I really want to just build use this as a foundation and build on top of it you know so now let's get into the rings oh, I love rings because I hate my hands a lot so this item I love you guys is the Charlotte ring and I just love to wear this because of course it matches my earrings and then over here we have the signet rings and one is a pave diamond and then one is the regular signe ring so this is one of the wishbone stacker rings and then this is the diamond x ring gorgeous 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 and i kind of like to keep this hand very minimal so finally are my bracelets i feel like also something that you really need to get is to just get yourself one dainty bracelet I really love the serpentine one. I saw this in the Majuri store on Melrose Avenue in California and I fell in love with it on, on the spot and I just knew I had to have it. In fact, I might get another one and like stack it with this because I don't know, I just love the flat lay vibe. It's so feminine. It just looks so expensive. I cannot get over it. And this is the boyfriend bracelet, which I actually purchased in the Soho store because I really wanted something to match the boyfriend necklace. Yeah, that's it for the stack right now. Again, Majuri is going to be having a huge Black Friday sale. So I really want you guys to take advantage and get yourself some really nice fine jewelry and i love that they make fine jewelry so affordable for us girls because it can, jewelry can get expensive and i don't even have to take these off i can shower in them they don't ever turn and i love that and i just think also for like us young ladies we need to like invest in like better quality jewelry they look nicer they're stunning and yeah that's pretty much that so all the information will be down there for you the links and what's new what's new in my life so new hair I got my hair done and I got a side part I am a middle part girl I've been a middle part girl for many many months but I wasn't able to get a middle part because the middle part leave out section of my hair 
broke off so badly. I did not do a good job at taking care of my leave out. So um, my hair stylist told me that I had to do a side part on this side or this side. But I must say like the side part is growing on me. I love it. And my leave out on this side is a lot healthier and thicker. So that's basically what my options were. But at first I got it. I was just like, you know, I'm going to take this out. But I slept on it, woke up, and I'm obsessed. A lot of my hair is in. I don't have a lot of hair out because she said that my hair was like, I'm not doing a good job at taking care of it. So she put most of the hair in the sew-in. So I'm happy about that. I don't have a lot of hair to like look after because we all know I'm not good at that. And then also, I got red nails. If you guys know me and you've been here for a long time and you're an OG subscriber, you know that only in the holiday season I get a side part and I do Right now. All right guys, so first and foremost, I have a little unboxing for you. I picked up some Chanel earrings from Fashion File. And if you guys don't know this, you guys probably don't even know or care, but those Chanel CC earrings are super hard to find. Hard to find. You have to like go on a wait list. They sell out really, really quick. One of the reasons for that is because this is like one of like the most the most affordable things from Chanel, so I get it. But um, this is what it looks like. But I ordered this from Fashion File. I was on the site like two nights ago. I realized that they had the gold pair. I was wearing like the silver ones before, but the gold ones are like my dream earrings. So I'm so excited to have them. So this is the box. Got them on Fashion File again. I think I paid pretty much the same price that they would be on the website for them, but um that's fine they're so pretty but there's another one on the site if you want to go and purchase i will link it for you guys i only saw one more like this style there's another one that i think is like really big which i don't like the big ones i like the tiny ones so first i thought the chanel style earrings were was too flashy don't get me wrong you guys i love designer stuff okay i love a label i love a brand name but i don't want it to be front and center where everybody can know what it is because I just feel like it's just not tasteful. That's my opinion. Don't fight me. I know you girls like to tussle. <laughs> if you guys know that TikTok sound, <laughs> you get the joke. But um, yeah, these are the earrings. Um, they're very small, but also very bold. So I'm definitely a huge fan. And the gold ones have been on my list for ever. I have another package here on the floor from Yes Style. So let me get the box first and then we can discuss. So yesterday I got a message on Instagram from the person I always work with at Yes Style notifying me that she's no longer going to be working with the company and she wanted to send me a package as like a farewell, thanks for working with me kind of vibes. So I thought that was really nice. So I'm very curious to see what's in here. Okay, so it seems to be closed. Closed? Let me see what we have. First up, seems to be a sweatshirt. This is what it looks like, just like a regular sweatshirt. I can even wear with like black leggings. So I've been working with this person a while, so they probably kind of have an idea of what I like. Okay, so this is like a pink hoodie. She knows my favorite color is pink. And um, this comes with like a little crop top and like the hoodie over top. I actually really like this. This is very pretty. This is actually very, very pretty. I actually wanna try on the hoodie because I'm very, I wanna know what kind of shape this is. Seems like a, this is so cute. This is actually so adorable and cute. This is so, so cute. So this is a cropped blazer sweater. Do you guys see that? And the detailing and the on the buttons, they're like gold. Oh, cute. So if you guys have never shopped on Yes Style before, you might find it to be very annoying. It's one of those sites that can be kind of hard to navigate. And if you don't know your sizing, it's gonna be very annoying because with Asian brands and companies, you kind of have to know how to convert your sizing. But I've mastered it and I prefer their clothes way more to, to close in like the states i just feel like it's more like my style i actually really like this what okay, i'm so excited to see what else is in this box we have a black item here what is this so this seems to be an oversized shirt i don't like this 
I don't like black shirts in this kind of fabric because it kind of looks gray. I can give that to somebody. This seems to be a single breasted blazer. I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared about the blazer. So one thing about Yes Style, you guys, a lot of their stuff comes in sets, which is great for me. Honestly, I hate having to figure out an outfit every single day of my life. So I love that their stuff is just made easy. They're already in sets. Okay, the blazer fits. Okay, and it's not ugly. It is not ugly at all. Like I would actually wear this. I cannot wait till my boots come in the mail. I ordered the YSL boots. I actually found them on Nordstrom site for a that for a hundred dollars cheaper. So instead of fifteen ninety five, they were fourteen ninety five. I cannot wait to get them. The recommendation did say that they suggest that you order a half size up or a size up because they are pretty snug. But Nordstrom only had one pair left and it was my exact shoe size. So I just went with that. Hopefully it fits and I'll just wear like light socks with it. So next up we have is this maxi dress in this gray color. Let's see. Hopefully I can find these stuff on the site so I can at least give you guys an opportunity to shop them. So this is like a long dress. Um, this could be pretty flattering, but this is giving me summer vibes. So I might even put this in my summer storage, maybe next year. So this is the next item here. This is the leather thing. Okay, this isn't bad, you guys, but it has like a very weird cut that's not very like womanly. It's very boxy. Maybe if I were to get this like tapered into like my waist a little bit, because I don't like when things look, look boxy on me. So one of the final things that we have in here is a bag. I'm never gonna wear this. I'll never wear this, but um, I might see if Renee wants it. Woo! This might be the one, you guys. Guys, this blazer is amazing. Like, it has a little shape to it. <gasps> do you guys see that? Oh my god, do you guys see the shape this blazer has? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is giving me like a snatched waist right now, and I'm here for it. Hello, this is so nice. The sleeves are a little bit like wonky, not wonky, but the sleeves are a little bit, um, the sleeves are a little bit long, but I feel like I could just fold them up like nicely because the color underneath is actually a really nice olive color. This is so nice. I definitely need heels though because I have to, have to be tall. Wow, and the back is also really nice. Okay, I love this. This is actually a really great gift, and I'm, I can use so many of these things, which rarely ever happens because I'm so picky, and if I don't choose things myself, definitely going to keep this. These four things I'm definitely keeping. I'm just going to put them on my clothing rack for now. We can hang that up later. Everything else, I'll just... Um, I'll call Brene in a bit on FaceTime and see if she likes any of the things I have left over. All right, I'm in the living room slash kitchen. I live in an apartment, okay? <laughs> so I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna make my coffee, but I wanted to share with you guys my new favorite coffee combination because, so first of all, this is the iced coffee that you can pick up from like your grocery store. It's the Starbucks one, medium roast, um, unsweetened. I promise you, I have not even been to Starbucks in like weeks because I've been making this at home. And I've been using the Toffee Nut Latte Creamer. Guys, if you've never tried this and you don't mind a little nutty flavor in your coffee, it's so good. I like way more coffee than there is cream, so. I love a good iced coffee with nothing in it, like a nice black coffee. And then this is what I do. Like, that's pretty much good. <laughs> then I do a little stir. Wow. I don't know if you guys can hear the sounds outside, but it's like a rainstorm, which is supposed to hold up around 1. It's 12.10 now, and I don't really see any. When you sign up, add... Sorry, that was my agent here. Let's see. 
weather. According to, it says that the rain should stop around 1 p.m. So, it sh and it sh should get nice. But let's FaceTime Brene right now. I won't put it, it's fine. <laughs> Guys, she's wearing her tired. Sorry. <laughs> they miss you. Hey guys, and what else you want to say? Oh, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say at the moment. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> oh yeah, I told them that um, we have dinner plans, but I wasn't sure if you're going to still want to go because of the weather. But the rain should stop at 1. Okay, because I was looking at the weather this morning. I know you were. That's why I said, let me just call you and put you on the spot. <laughs> Alright guys, I talked to Renee for a little bit and she just got on a call for her job. I need to clean up my makeup area from earlier. Again, my makeup stuff kind of like spilled over earlier so I need to clean this up. Which is so annoying, like I do my makeup on my bed when I film because the lighting obviously is better by the window. And because of the angle of my bed, it always falls over so. Yeah, let me just clean this up really quickly and then we're gonna get started on editing. I really wanna edit this video. And, and then, um, you know, just get our, the ball rolling on things so you guys can at least have this video up very soon. I'm gonna play some music in the meantime because What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. What song is that? I don't know if you guys know this, but Google, if you hum a song, Google can figure it out for you. Okay, I think they found it. This is the outfit of what I'm wearing, you guys. Honestly, this. <laughs> it's fine, no one's gonna see me. I'm going out with my friend, that's it. I also have to send something over to my manager, so I kinda wanna make sure that this is like ready to go. So I uploaded this video before and it only uploaded a portion of the video, which is like, I swear, these things only happen to me when I'm like, when I have something to do, you know? Only. So yeah, all right, that's uploaded successfully so we can officially leave. Um, I'm gonna be bringing my Angela Roy bag. This is what it looks like. Um, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Let me close this for you guys. So you can clearly see my phone is charged enough. Yeah, it's fine, it's charged. Have my ID, vaccination card. Um, have my face mask in my bag. 
I might have to like fix. I feel like the shirt look chaka chaka like that. So I'm just going to do a little twist around and just tuck it. I'm wearing black, so you can't even really tell. I think my Uber is here also. Yep. Let me grab my shoes. Oh, 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 oh,